Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the process of exporting a landscape created using World Blender to another application. In this case, it's going to be Unreal Engine 5. So, the first thing we need to make sure is that uh, this resolution matches the one in uh, the other application. In this case, Unreal Engine 5. And uh, in with this particular setting, I am going to get a uh, 1009 by 1009 landscape. So in Blender, I also created a 1009 by 1009 landscape. And this is what we have. Let's render and see how it looks. And it looks like this. All right. So in order to bake the texture, we need to apply the uh, geometry node modifier so that we have some real geometry to bake with. Because right now, if we uh, bake the texture, it will not work. However, I don't want to apply this particular uh, modifier because I will lose all of my progress. So I'm going to create a plane and name this one Bake. Okay. And I will create another geometry node editor for this Bake object. And I will import the landscape into this plane. So now we have this plane right here. And uh, I can now hide away the, the generator and uh, move this one back to the center. All right, now we can apply the modifier. There we go. All right, now we have a real mesh to work with and we can now go to the uh, data tab and under the UV maps, you can see that we have two different UV maps. So let's go to the edit mode and have a look at the UV maps. Go to the UV editor. So this is the UV map. As you can see, the UV map kind of cover the entire UV space. And this is the true UV map. We have a little bit of a margin right here. Now this margin will make sure that all the vertices of the landscape will fall at, will be placed at the exact center of the pixels. Like that. Now, if you bake using this UV map here, then this high region may end up repeating on this side right here, like that. So we don't want that. We want the, the image to be exactly the same as the landscape. So we have to bake using the true UV map, all right? Now, let's go to the material and you can see we have uh, three material slots. The first one is the uh, empty material of the original plane. And this is the default uh, visual visualize height material that will visualize the height of the landscape. And this is the main material. So we can get rid of the other two. And let's have a look at the main material. So this is the color channel. This is the roughness. This is the uh, specularity. And this is the normal. We will be baking these four nodes. And one more node, let me go to the asset browser and go to uh, the utility of the material nodes and drop in the hide info node. We also need to bake the end hide right here. So now let's start baking the texture. First, create an image texture and create a new image. This one should be hide channel okay turn off the alpha and turn on the 32 bit float if you don't turn on this 32 bits uh, then it's going to bake using 8 bits and uh, it's going to be a mess when you import this high channel into unreal engine so be sure to turn on 32 bit float okay next we need to put in the uv we want to use and in this case it is the true uv map okay now we can start baking the landscape, I mean the texture. Go to the render tab, make sure to use cycles. All right, and uh, let's turn off the render. In the render settings, uh, use four samples and leave everything else as default. And scroll all the way down to the bake section and choose emit in the bake type. And we can now click bake. And it will take about a second to bake the texture. So let's go to the uh, image editor and have a look at the high channel. So this is the high channel. We can now save this texture as uh, an image, the high channel.png. 
be sure to use uh, black and white 16 bits and non color save okay and that's it with the high channel next let's back the color channel create another one color for the color channel we don't need 32 bits we just need 8 bits so create an 8 bit image and this time we will connect the color channel to the output and let's check to make sure okay it's the color channel and again we will click back and it's done we can now save this again as a an image and for the color channel we can just leave everything else everything as default and save let me move this down a bit and these are the two float channels we can combine this into the same texture using a uh, combined color node connect the roughness to the red channel the specularity to the uh, green channel and let's visualize the texture okay it looks like this so we can now create a new texture this one will be roughness and spec okay and again we will be using 8 bits but this time we will be using non-color image and now let's back once more be sure to connect this to the output in order to back this one all right and back this one there we go and save all right all the settings are correct save and finally, we will bake the normal map. So connect this to the output and render to make sure, okay, it's in the output. And this time we will create another texture and using the same settings, okay. Again, this will be non-color. And I forgot to name the texture. This one will be normals, okay. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that before you bake the texture, you have to make sure that you are selecting the texture node like this. If you have like multiple image texture in the same material, then the bake will, the bake function will bake the texture into the image you are selecting, right? So in this case, we only have like one image texture, so it doesn't matter. But if you like have like a bunch of image textures in your material, then you have to select the one you want to bake, okay? In this case, this node. And again, let's bake the texture. There we go. And we can now save this again using the same settings. Okay. Now, all the textures are finished and ready to be imported into another application. Let's switch to Unreal Engine. And instead of creating a new landscape, we will be importing from a file. And let's choose the high channel. And uh, yeah, let's just use this settings. Hmm. No files found. It's kind of weird. Okay, now, since the image texture does not contain the size information of the landscape, it only contains the, the resolution, but not the size. So you might want to tweak the scale numbers to match the size in Unreal with the size in Blender. And in this particular case, I will be using these numbers. Now, I think these numbers are not yet the correct values, but for the sake of demonstration, I will just leave them as they are. So let's import and wait a few seconds. Okay, it's finished. And we will move the landscape up like so. I think that's a little too high. Let's move it down a bit. Okay, check out the player start position and hit N to make it snap to the surface of the landscape. And this is where the player will start. So let's play and check out the landscape. As you can see, it is nice, very nice. And next thing to do is to create a material for the landscape. So create a material. There we go, all right, and apply this to the landscape. 
Now let's import the image textures and browse to where you exported your texture. In this case, these. Okay. Everything is done. Make sure to save everything. There we go. And next, let's go ahead and create the texture. I am no Unreal expert, so I'm going to just put in the the texture and uh, call it a day. And uh, let's put in the normals. Where is the normal here? There we go. And also put in this the R channel to the roughness and the green channel to the specularity. There we go. And uh, now you can see the textures are tiling all over the place. So we need to configure the UVs for the landscape as well. Let's go back to the material editor. Let's search for landscape and choose this uh, landscape layer chords. There we go. And uh, let's divide this by 1009. This is the size of the landscape. And there we go. And save. Okay. Let's check out the landscape. And there we go. We have successfully imported the landscape created using World Blender into Unreal Engine 5. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.